All right, this is 37% of college students say they use credit cards because of the reward program. I know this is a binomial because they either use the credit card or they don't. So you randomly select 10 college students and ask each to name the reason he uses the credit card. Find the probability that the number of college students who say they use the credit card uh, because of the reward program is exactly two. So the binomial is this formula. Some of you old school like to actually work this out. No problem. If you want to know the probability of exactly two, that's 10 combinations taken two at a time. Probability of success, 0 0.37, raised to the number of successes, what I'm looking for, two, times the probability of failure, meaning they don't use the credit card. Where'd I get that number from? One minus 0 0.37. The number that don't use the rewards, well, if 2 is what I'm looking for, then 10 minus 2. Here's the actual plugging into the combinations. And this would be actually working it out step by step. Okay, um, I, you know, me being lazy, I probably, I don't know, this one's not too bad because you see the 8 factorials cancel. I think I have an extra factorial there. Oops. Um, so those cancel and you just end up with 10, 10 times 9 over 2. So that's not too bad. But I do think either StatCrunch or uh, your calculator will be easier. So if you use StatCrunch and you go to the calculators, binomial, they, it's kind of cool because they even graph it, which is kind of neat. But you just have to be careful down here that you pick equal. So in sample size 10, be sure and change your P, your probability of success, 0.37. Um, I want to know exactly two, so I get my answer, which was the same as rounding here. I uh, believe they said to round to the thousandths, ten hundredths, thousandths. All right. Next one wants to know more than two. Careful. If you put greater than or equal to, that's not more than two. That's two or more. So more than two would have to be greater than. So that's the only thing I had to change. And then this one's kind of cool because I don't know if you can do a between on a calculator. If you can, I don't know how. Um, on the calculator, you would have to do two, three, four, and five and add up those probabilities. But this is kind of cool that StatCrunch lets you do the between. And notice somewhere here it says inclusive. That means you include, okay, so that's the inclusive part. If it didn't say that, then you would do three to four, okay, but inclusive. So as you can see, there's the answer. And for those of you that just love, love, love your calculator, you can do this on your calculator. So do second bars. Uh, be careful that you do PDF. Okay, so the probability distribution function. And the order is in comma p comma x okay the number that you're looking for so again if you wanted to do between two and five you could right there's two then you do three then you would do four then you would do five and then you would just simply add all of those values up to get that answer all right hope hope that helps